jump in the questions. Quick game, not a lot of action. Um, a lot of good pitching, a lot of strikes being thrown. The inning that some strikes weren't th thrown, we took advantage of it, punched in three runs. And uh, obviously when Kendall hit the home run, gave us four run lead, that's kind of the, that's one of the magic numbers. You didn't get, get to four, it's a little bit more difficult. And, uh, and it just seemed like we held on at the end. And we had a chance in the seventh, you know, to just tack on one more run, uh, give credit to their pitcher. They struck her hitter out in three pitches. And then, uh, you know, we didn't get that big hit. Um, but but really for us, you know, this was a game that, was, you know, was a little, had me a little worried because of conference starting this weekend and, you know, the game before after the weekend. And, uh, you know, I thought our guys showed up. They were into it. Uh, I just thought all Roberts pitched is pretty good for the most part. Um, Really good to see, uh, you know, Fisher and, and Gackley, our young pitchers, go out and continue to pretty much pound the zone, throw a lot of strikes. And uh, I thought Will McIntyre came in and threw the ball really well. He wanted to get a couple innings today. And Hewlett came in, got the le one lefty out, got a righty out, didn't get the lefty out. And we, we thought, well, we better, you know, get Dylan in there and get him, get him a little more of a leverage situation. And ball was coming out of his hand good. They took a couple good swings at him, but uh, – you know, I was, I was proud of him. He threw well. And then Cody Frank, you know, kind of hard luck pitcher at a fly ball in left field. It probably should have been caught. And, you know, they, they had a, a C and I single that we got the, the, you know, the infield playing to pull and he slaps one through the middle. Um, but, uh, you know, overall, I thought our pitching did an outstanding job of just making them earn everything. I think we had two walks on the day and, you know, that's, that's a, a winning formula if you field the ball a little bit. Fisher was kind of cruising along there until there were two outs in the third, loaded the bases, but got out of it. How big was that considering he not only got out of it, but it was after y'all just taking a three nothing lead. Yeah. You know, it was two quick outs. He was thinking, wow, this is, this is good. This was going to be his last inning. And, uh, you know, he ended up having to throw a few more pitches than, you know, we thought after he got the first couple outs, but it was good to see him finish it up and, and, and not let them, you know, cut into that lead that we just got and, and kind of, flipped the momentum back to their dugout. It stayed with us. And, um, you know, I, th I thought he did a great job of coming out and obviously throwing the ball over the plate and mix it up pretty good. You know, they're hitting about 300 as a team. They, they've they scored a lot and uh, got a lot of players back off, to, off a team that was really good from last year. So they know how to win. They know how to, you know, even when maybe things aren't going good, they stick around. And that's what teams that win do. They They kind of find a way to stay in the game. So... Good job by our young guys today. You mentioned that was going to be Fisher's last inning. Is that because you're trying to keep him available for this weekend? Yeah. You know, you never know how it's going to go, what what's going to happen, or if somebody might come up sore or sick or whatever, because, you know, things are happening. That's the way it works. So, you, you know, you get into the season and, you know, we still got flu running around. We got COVID running around. And, you know, you just, you, you just got to make sure you got guys available. Yeah, just how good was it to see after maybe some of the emotional return from from Stovall this weekend? He followed it up today and and really had one of the the bigger hits of the, the evening for yeah, you guys. That was a big hit. Drove in two runs and you know then you look at his last at bat. He hit that ball super hard and uh, to the deepest part of the park. And you gotta love it when hitters stay through the middle of the field, you know. And uh, but I really liked what I'm seeing from swinging the bat and for him to get that big hit there and give us lead or extend the lead or whatever happened there, you know, two RBIs. That was, uh, that was good. I mean, like I think four games, got seven or eight RBIs already and squared up a lot of balls Hit two or three balls hard that were, that have been caught. So it's not like he's been just dropping singles and blooping balls and he's been the ball hard. Ben's been so good defensively at first base. Is that something that you, you could kind of see bubbling in the off season, just him being an elite defender? Yeah, we've talked about it, uh, you know, in coach's office, many a time that we see him getting better and better. And I think he's just starting to feel real confident at first base. You know, he's a third baseman when he got here and it's a, it's just a different, different over there, but now it works good. Um, you know, throws are accurate on a double play ball. Then he, then he slid right back to the base. No problem. Uh, looks like he's been playing over there for years and uh, picked that ball out of the, out of the dirt on the double play ball and, Got us in the dugout, and that was an easy pick. There's some easy picks, those little short hops. Those are fairly easy. 
that was a long hop. That was an in-between hop. Those are the ones that cause a lot of problems, and he did a great job with that. Aloy's now got now hit safely in six straight games, been driving in a lot more runs lately. Just as you're going into conference play, how important is his bat and some of these other power bats to kind of give you guys that edge? Well, it's huge. You know, I mean, this is a guy that we know he can hit. We saw it, we've seen him hit. And yeah, I think like I've said many a time, I felt like he came out of the, the blocks pressing a little bit and he's starting to settle in. I love the walk he took today on a, a slider, I think full count, down way a little bit. Um you know, he, he's been hitting it hard. You know, he had a ball into the wind and he, and he didn't get all of it. He pulls it. It's out of the park, you know, on a night like tonight with the way the wind's blowing, he's got to get that one a little bit better, but he still hit it good. And, you know, on a calm day balls out of the park. So um, really good to see some of those guys swinging it. And with Stowell in particular, like just given how his career's played out, slow start as a freshman gets banged up last year. How nice is it to see him just jump right in? He's got seven RBI already, just already, playing well and driving in runs and having fun. Yeah, he looks really confident. He looks like a polished player, really pretty swing. Um, and you can probably tell uh, it's a lot more powerful than it was a year ago. It's He's a lot stronger, you know, from just growing up and all the rehab and all the work he did. Um, lower half, super strong and uh, swings just as good as ever. I mean, to me, it looks better than it's ever been since he's been here. Um, that's my opinion at this time. So, um, you know, I'm excited for him. What's going to happen this this spring for him? Okay, thank you.